One of the major sources of information these days for people all around the world is Wikipedia. Um, why Wikipedia? Because Wikipedia is big, it's the biggest encyclopedia that's ever been created. It's free, everyone can read it, and anyone can edit it. Um, so that makes, makes Wikipedia a really good um, source of information, but it's also a source of false information, unfortunately, because um, anyone can edit it, so even evil people, if you will, can edit uh, Wikipedia. And then everyone else will see that. So what we did in our research was um, to try to study what does false information on Wikipedia look like, how is it different from real information, and um, also how important is it. So we studied uh, three questions. One, what's the impact of these fake hoax articles on Wikipedia? How long do they survive? Um, how many people see that content? Second, we asked what do fake articles on Wikipedia look like? How are they different from real articles? Uh, and third, we, um, we looked into methods for automatically detecting fake articles on, on Wikipedia and uh, removing them to make Wikipedia better uh, for everyone afterwards. First of all, maybe I can say how important the fake uh, content even is on Wikipedia, because that's the first question we should ask. If the fake content in Wikipedia is never seen by anyone, then maybe we shouldn't worry so much. So what we find, however, is, so we have, there are two findings. One is that most fake content on Wikipedia is discovered very, very quickly. So about 90% of all fake articles are discovered within the hour. However, there is a small fraction, 1% of all fake articles on Wikipedia, um, that survive for a year or more. And this is really where the harm happens. So yes, it is very important to discover that fake content and remove it from Wikipedia. Um, and is that a hard thing to do? Well, it's definitely a hard thing to do for humans because we set up an experiment to measure how good average people are at distinguishing fake and real content on Wikipedia. And the results were a bit shocking to us. We found that um, that people are right. In get, if you show people two articles, one fake, one real, only in two thirds of the cases will they be able to distinguish which one is fake. Um, so that is pretty poor performance. We developed algorithms to do that automatically, that algorithms that don't only look at the surface form of an article, but that dig deeper, that look at what has the editor who has created the article done before, um, how is the article mentioned in other articles? How does it connect to the network of, of, of millions of Wikipedia articles? And by using all that information, our algorithm has 86% versus 66% for humans. So by using um, machine learning here and, uh, and, and using automation, we can actually help humans make Wikipedia better. This measures very different things. Um, the hoax, the way Wikipedia works is when a new article is created, it goes on some list for what's called patrolling. And then Wikipedia uh, editors will come in and they will specifically check, fact check those articles to discover, uh, to decide whether they are real or fake, whether they are, for example, spam and so on. But those users dig really under the surface. They will go to Google, they'll search for for the name of that article, see if they can find it mentioned in other uh, web sources. They will follow the references that are sometimes there at the bottom of a Wikipedia article. So they will really do their best effort and due diligence. In the human experiment, where humans achieve only 66% accuracy, we tried to simulate the typical scenario of a Wikipedia reader. A Wikipedia reader does not do all these things that the, um, that the fact checker does. They will not follow all the references. They will not, by default, Google everything that they find. They will just have a much, um, they have a, will have a tendency to just believe what they see. And it was important to us to simulate that realistic scenario. And that's when we got those appallingly uh, bad results. It's something that I would really like to look into in future work. We haven't been able to do that because finding out why people do it really requires you to talk to these people. I think by just looking at the data we already have, it's not enough. Um, so I would be really interested in basically identifying some of those uh, people who have 
uh, inserted the hoaxes and just asking them, why did you do this? Um, now, I think I can just hypothesize why people do that. I think there's a big element of because I can. People want to uh, do this so they can kind of brag to their friends, look, uh, I have had this fake article in Wikipedia for five years and no one have no has noticed. So it's kind of for the bragging rights a lot, I think. Um, there's another element that is about um, inserting um, fake information because you're following a, an agenda, for example, a political agenda. But I think that doesn't affect so much the, the scenario that we studied. We studied articles that were entirely invented. The, the entire concept doesn't exist. I think from a practical viewpoint, it is probably more important to look at hoax facts, false facts, that are inserted into an article that is overall uh, true. For example, there has been a major incident uh, years back where a journalist has been, uh, in has been incriminated by a Wikipedia article to have been involved in the Kennedy assassination. But that was completely invented. Th that journalist was real, but the fact that he was involved in the Kennedy assassination was, was false. And that became a big scandal. Uh, questions were raised about the credibility of Wikipedia and actually a lot of these checks and balances with the patrolling mechanism and so on that we see today are due to such incidences. So the system has been, uh, has been adapting. Um, now in the future I think it would be really interesting to study such cases of false, uh, false facts inserted into real articles but from a from a technical perspective, it, it was much harder for us to study such cases. That's why we started out by studying entire hoax articles.